So how to make mom's chicken broth. Just carrots, celery, and onions. All you do is wash them off and peel the onions. And we're gonna cut them into little pieces. Garlic, some salt, my favorite is kosher salt, and pepper. I took a whole chicken and cut it up so that I took off the breasts and thighs. This is the meat we'll use for something else. And then everything else ends up in the pot, the stock pot. So the wings, the legs, and the bones um, from everything else is in the stock pot. So the next step is, um, first of all, I, I ended up cutting up two chickens because I'm gonna use it for broth for the noodles and for the stuffing. So I'm, I got the bones from two chickens, um, the legs and the wings from two chickens. I have leftover breasts and thighs, boneless, that I can use for other things. Onions, celery, carrots, um, just roughly chopped after they've been thoroughly washed and cleaned, and then a few garlic cloves. So these are three garlic cloves that I am just um, cutting in half. They don't even have to be all the way peeled uh, because you're gonna be um, straining it anyways. And then you're gonna fill this up with cold water um, to cover. So this is gonna be mostly filled. And then I add some um, salt and pepper, kosher salt, probably at least a teaspoon for this much, probably maybe even two, and then grind some fresh ground pepper. Regular pepper is fine. You don't have to use fresh ground. That's just the way I do it. Um, so, and then you put it on the stove to boil, uh, simmer it for about an hour to hour and a half, um, and then we'll strain it. We'll come back at that point. Alrighty, so now it's been cooking about 15 minutes. It started boiling just a few seconds ago. So I turned the heat down so it's just simmering now. This is a nice simmer. Uh, I might turn it down just a little bit more even actually. You can see the celery and the carrots and the onions are mixed all in with the meat. And I stir it every now and again just to make sure the meat's kind of getting um, fully in underwater and um, move it around a little bit. But other than that, it's just gonna be happy for another hour or so, uh, hour and a half, and then the broth will be done and we'll cool it. But for now, it's just gonna simmer. So, voila, here's what we have. Um, so when it was done cooking, I put it in um, some ice water in the sink and let it cool off a little bit. And then since it's 40 degrees outside, I thought, well, we'll just put it outside. So it's been sitting outside for an hour. Um, so it's cooled off a little bit, but I will tell you from the sides, it's still a little bit warm. So now it's just a matter of draining it and straining it and not making too many splashes because it can be quite uh, messy. And just trying to get it cleaned out. So... <laughs> so all of this is just really not needed any longer um, but what I do is I'll take a few pieces of chicken and pull off and keep it in the broth so there's that it's not how I usually do it um, and then I'll cut up some of the carrots and put in there as well because I like carrots in my broth and the win is that, I'm telling you, this is the best broth and will can do so many things. You can make soup with it. It makes awesome ch chicken soup, chicken noodle soup, chicken with the rice. Um, I plan to use it for making the stuffing. Um, so when I make the stuffing on Wednesday, and then the noodles, of course, um, same broth. This broth is so versatile, it'll do anything and it'll make it taste better no matter what you do with the chicken broth, it will be a winner instead of boxed. Now I like boxed because it's so easy and beautiful, um, but this one tastes better. So if you really want to taste the broth, chicken soup, noodles particularly, this is what you need to use.